Am... Am I a bad person? Are we having fun yet? I'm starting to really question myself because after I see this play, I don't really see anything wrong with this. You see Morris runs into him and he pops him from the back. It was a dirty move by Morris initially, but it seems like there's actually conversations about this still going on. And it's starting to really make me realize that the NBA is nowhere near how it was before. I'm not saying that I wanna see violence, okay? I'm not saying that this is great for the NBA or anything like that. But in my opinion, Jokic just retaliated from a dirty hit from Morris. But it's like making the rounds that maybe and possibly he shouldn't have done it. The Miami Heat players are waiting outside the locker room. And we'll talk about that in a minute. But let's just look at this again. They're going to show it in slow motion. And I don't, I, I don't really understand it. I'm just going to be honest. I don't understand it. So check this out. So he runs into him. He pops him. Gives him even a little extra push. That's dirty. And then he initially reacted and popped him from the back. W what is wrong with this? I don't get it. I don't even see how this is still a topic of discussion. They, I, maybe because we don't have a lot of fights in the NBA or something. I didn't think this was a big deal when I saw it. I was like, yeah, he deserved it. And it's just an NBA player, a man to a man, retaliating. A human to a human, adults to adults. I mean, I don't... I don't see the problem here. And then you have the Miami Heat players waiting for Yoke. This is corny. I'm going to be honest with you guys. This is some cornball activity, okay? People have seen this and they said, oh man, this is this is a, a album cover. No, dude, it's it's really lame. What are you guys doing? You're not going to do What you going to do? Go in there and jump Jokic? Like, you're not going to do anything, okay? This is just really silly to me. Um, and it just really shows where the NBA is at this point, that this is even a topic of discussion. Now, check this out. So let's just go ahead and skip to this. Uh, let's see, waited till bro turned his back, shaking my head, and that's from Marcus Morris. Now it might be coming from me, a Spurs fan, in which I already don't like Marcus Morris, okay, for how he screwed us over, okay? I, I'm, I won't get into that. But waited till bro turned his back, literally it was a second. After he hit him, Jokic didn't wait, he retaliated immediately. What happened was little Keith here, little Markeith, what he did was he hit him and then he turned his back like he was cool or like he was a bad boy. That was lame to me. And I mean, that's just your that's just your fault for turning your back. Like you don't do a dirty play and then expect nothing to happen from it. That's just soft to me. And then as we can see here, uh, this is the Jokic brothers. I actually really like this. I gotta, I gotta you gotta listen to this. They're pretty pissed off. They're acting crazy. Yeah, they're about to eat him for breakfast. They're about to eat that team for breakfast. I would not want to mess with these men. And then you can hear the MVP chants, okay? And I'm not trying to condone violence, okay? I'm not trying to condone violence, but if you're gonna hit this man, Markeith Morris, the Morris brothers in general are known for doing like little things like that. I mean, what did he expect for him to just get away with it? You literally went straight into his rib cage. Like, what do you expect? You literally went straight into his rib cage. <laughs> of course, he's gonna retaliate. It's like he wanted to try him, but now it's like all this talk about like how it's dirty and all this stupid stuff. And then we got little Keefy here says, I love to see the hate. No doubt I took a hard foul, which I always do, but I've never hit a man with his back turned. Shut up. Shut up, bro. Even even my cat's like, meow, she's, she's saying shut up to Shut up, bro. That's so lame. I've never hit a man with his back turned. Bro, don't turn your back after doing a dirty play. Don't say, oh, it's just a hard foul. Well, that was just a hard foul. Shut up. And then he says, um, let's see. Luckily, we built different over here. Oh, my God. Uh, I can take my licks and keep pushing. Joke, Joker, one smooth. Oh, it, it, she, she, she just had that one smooth there. Shut up. God, dude, it's annoying. Like, way to, way, to, way to punch somebody in their rib cage and then play the victim after it. Yeah, you're such a tough guy. Dude, all these fake tough guys in the NBA are really irritating. Maybe it's just the old school in me, and I don't think I'm that old school, but man, I remember stuff like this happening, and then you just kind of move on from it. But now it's like to the point where this is making news for like two days. I don't get it. Look, man, you had it coming to you. Jokic was in the right. 
don't hit people in their rib cage. I'm sorry. And let's just watch it one more time, just so we're, we're making sure, keeping it in perspective. He hit him in his rib cage. It wasn't just a hard foul, and then he went to walk off like he's bad. Good job, Jokic. I think I'm a Jokic fan now. Look, man, I, I, I gotta go. I just don't understand this whatsoever. It is what it is, man. You, you were soft. And not only that, you know what? I wanna also mention this as well. The fact that Jokic has actually apologized for this. He actually apologized. I don't know who showed me the clip, but more his head snapped back. I felt really bad. He actually apologized. Do not apologize for this. He hit you in the rib cage. He was dirty. You retaliated. It's okay. I'll get with you guys later, man. Until next time, deuces, dude. <laughs> What's up with the NBA, bro?